given the weather that we've been having in this last week or so, what better way to keep out the cold and the rain than a nice, comforting bowl of soup. So with that in mind, Paula McIntyre travelled to Helen's Bay Organic Farm in search of some locally grown vegetables for her beef soup. The main vegetables uh, in Northern Ireland would be obviously potatoes, carrots, onions, parsnips, leeks, celeriac, uh, beetroot, broccoli, cabbage, kale, (laughs) you name it. We have a wonderful selection of vegetables. Um, And then just to to try and give a bit of spice to that, then we've we've obviously got um, the indoor vegetables. We've got polytunnels, these Mm -hmm. big plastic houses. We can grow tomatoes and cucumbers in the summertime, sweet corn even. And then in the wintertime, we fill it up with salads and soup, celery and parsley. Yeah. And I think soup celery was the one you were particularly interested in today, isn't and, that right? And to see this, you've got the soup celery beside you. It, does, it looks like flat leaf parsley, doesn't it? But Very like flat leaf parsley. We used to actually grow flat leaf parsley as well and nobody knew the difference, so we stopped them. No, no. We have the curly <laughs> parsley now and the celery. The celery is very good. Soup celery is, the, is a green stalk celery. It's not the white blanched celery. It's the celery that you grow for to ensure that the whole stalk is fully green, including the leaves, and you chop it all up. Mm-hmm. And, and the benefit of that is that uh, any you know the blanched food um, the white part like of leeks as well the same with celery the more blanched it is the less nutritional value it mm-hmm. has it's got great mineral and roughage value but wouldn't necessarily be high in the vitamins so if you can get it when it's really dark and green you're getting the benefit not just of the the minerals from the from the celery but you're getting the benefit of all the all the vitamins as well yeah. And soup celery, it's a, it's a particular thing to Northern Ireland. I mean, you get these soup packs and they've always right. got, uh, they've got a bit of parsley, a leek, yeah. a carrot, and they've got the, uh, <laughs> and they've always got the soup celery. But I love to, you know, when I was growing up, John, we always got the soup celery and they always tied it up in newspaper for you. That's and right. it has such a distinct taste, hasn't it? It has. It's very earthy, isn't it? And it's, yeah. uh, and it's a much stronger taste now than ordinary table celery. I mean, you probably guessed from my accent, you know, I, I also come from across the border. Mm-hmm. So when I moved up here over 25 years ago and started growing, I'd never heard of soup celery. We don't use it down there. But in fact, it's brilliant because it's, it's, um, it's a fantastic taste hugely warming when you have a, a big bowl of soup and there's lots of celery and parsley really in it and, and hugely nutritional which is really really important in the winter time to keep your nutrition levels up so you fend off the colds and the coughs and the sneezes and, and all the other things that can lay you low. You've got a massive big bed of it here. Do you mind if I try some actually? No, please, just take please, a, take a wee leaf. Yeah. Just to take help a wee yourself. leaf. You just get this massive hit. Mm. You, know, you talked about minerals. I mean mm. you can taste it. You can you nearly can. taste the iron and it's really really green. It tastes green. That's that, right. Yeah. That's mm. right. That's it's absolutely right. beautiful. The real secret is not to sort of chomp it up and throw it in the soup from the very beginning. Yeah. Keep it for the last five minutes yeah, so, you, so you're so you not going to overheat it and destroy some of the benefit of it. You Plus know? it goes mucky. It does. You it know, does, if you, yeah. if you, I always put it in sort of even the last 15 minutes to cook and just yeah. give it a, like, a nice simmer. Same with greens of yeah. lake, which people tend to ignore in this country. People tend to think that the green of the lake is poisonous or something, but I think it's... I can, a, yeah, I, I never... <laughs> under, it's the, it, again, it's what I was saying earlier. The green, nutrition is the best part for Absolutely, you. Absolutely, but yeah. I, I, I was watching a, an American cookery programme the other day on television and um, it was she was making a soup and she used the white of the leek and she said, like, just get rid of the old uh, green bits. And I'm like, <laughs> I was like shouting at the TV, you know, that's what I do, John, yeah, you know, yeah, you're lucky yeah. you don't have a TV. Yeah. But I shouted at the TV and go, no, 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 yeah. not the, no you've got to leave the green bits. Well, there must be some latent wisdom in the um, culture of Northern Irish eating yeah. because everywhere else in the world they chop off the leaf Absolutely. of celery. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Whereas here, we actually chop up the leaf yes. of celery and yes. eat it and cook it. Well, I'm going to be making a soup with the soup celery, but um, I know that you grow carrots and I'm particularly interested in your carrots. Could you show me? I'd be delighted. That'd be great. Thanks. Thank you. So, John, these are your carrots, which um, not like what you see in the supermarkets. His lovely green, leafy, bushy tops here. They are indeed still, which is well, that's a, that's a credit to the fact that we haven't had any really seriously cold weather. The heart of the frost now in the winter time. We've had a mild winter really. Very mild, yeah. very mild and very wet. I'm sure you're delighted by that. It's <laughs> helped a lot. We haven't had a bit of pigeon damage anywhere either no. on the brassicas, so it's a, great, it's a great help this year compared to last year. But yeah, the carrots have done very well for us. Um, we, we grow a Nantes type carrot, which is the, the sweet carrot. Right, right. Um, and, and some of the, there's winter varieties of Nantes now that actually do keep very well outdoors. I mean, everybody's heard of the story of carrots 
pilots f fed to the fighter pilots of the Second World War because of the high levels of vitamin A meant mm -hmm. that their eyesight was going to be brilliant. Well, uh, the fact is, yes, they are full of vitamin A. That was a bit of a cod. <laughs> it was one of those <laughs> so urban myths. Well, well, what happened was, actually, ironically, what happened was that the carrots were subsidised uh -huh. uh, and the price was fixed by the government at the time. So, But they were fixed at a very high price and the, consequently the vast majority of people couldn't afford to buy them. So uh -huh. the, the poor old people in the army and the, and the Air Force had to eat them all up. <laughs> so, and, then, uh, and, then, and then mothers kept that myth going. That's they, they know, did you know, over the you, years. If you dig one up there, just to let me see. Because I couldn't eat, yeah. So we've got yep. the lovely we green. Go. Now, what do you think of that? To be honest with you, John, I think life is about... It doesn't get any better this time of year than a dirty carrot, does it? No, no, no. I, I'm a very privileged man, you know. You really at about are. four o'clock every day, I go out and dig my dinner. Yeah, <laughs> brilliant. And you can't beat it, can you? You can't, no. no. You talk about digging dinner, so what's for dinner tonight in the McCormick household? Um, I'm actually planning, believe it or not, to make a, a soup. Lovely, brilliant. Good. And I'm going to be cutting. I'm going to be digging some carrots and cutting some of that celery. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, and I'll, I'll, uh, I, I've, I've still some pumpkins left over, so I'm going to have um, a mixture of potato, uh, leek, onion, pumpkin, carrot and uh, a bit of parsley and soup celery and then just to give it a bit of a lift I'll put in a, one teaspoonful of Madras curry paste Lovely. which gives it that kind of hotness for this time of the year and um, gosh I'm getting hungry already. That good, yeah. <laughs> John thank you so yeah. much for showing me your garden. Not the only one getting hungry, John McCormick there from Helens Bay Organic Farm making soup. Paul is with me now in the studio. You're going to put those vegetables to very good use and also make soup. Yes, I am going to make a soup. I'm going to make a, uh, he's doing a vegetarian soup for his tea. So I'm doing a, a, a beef one using shin and using the carrot. Yeah, there's a, that's the carrot now. So the that's carrot's the way, fantastic. The meat, that's the way a carrot should look, right? It's got dirt on it. It's got knobbly bits. If you're looking, there's a video of this there. Hold the carrot up, Kim. You can see this on the web afterwards. But that's, to me, I think life's about dirty carrots, Kim. You're that's absolutely it. right. Yeah, People yeah. are scared of a little bit of soil. I also yeah. think, just, you cut me a bit off there. Yeah. It smells of carrot. It mm -hmm. smells of ground and fresh air yeah. and earth. Uh -huh. It just, that's, that's yeah. again, as absolutely. opposed to so often stuff you buy that's mass produced not necessarily no. in this country and you cut it up and it tastes and smells of nothing yeah. this tastes and smells fabulous and I very much look forward to that beef mm -hmm. soup which is coming up after this